Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I want to discuss Halo Infinite and how it's going to be a nostalgia trip. From what we've seen already so far from Halo Infinite, people are already talking about how nostalgic the game is because of Chief getting his classic Mark VI armor back. And the fact that in Infinite a Halo ring is a main plot point of the game has people saying how nostalgic the game is going to be as well. I remember watching the first trailer and already from seeing Chief's classic Mark VI helmet and the Halo ring, I thought Infinite would have something to do with nostalgia and catering to the older fan base. 343 know very well that Halo's fans that have been around since the Bungie days haven't enjoyed their recent works, and Halo Infinite was 343's way of catering to the right bunch of people they should have been making the Reclaimer saga of Halo games for all along since Halo 4. Halo Infinite itself is even described as a quote-unquote spiritual reboot by its developers, meaning that 343 obviously had an entirely new motive and approach when starting development on Infinite, wanting to start from a fresh, clean slate, including even making a new engine for Infinite to run on called the Slipspace engine. 343 are definitely trying in this new era of console gaming. 343's efforts to cater to the older fanbase don't just stop at giving Master Chief his most well-known armor, the game being based on a Halo ring and a new engine, no. From reveals of certain Halo Infinite toys and other sorts of leaks and teasers, we are able to see even more of what Halo Infinite will look like. The grunts look as classic as ever, the elites are looking classic, and I even found an article today talking about the leak of Brute Halo Infinite figures. That is right, Brute Halo Infinite figures. They are called Brute Warriors, as it says on the packaging, and the Banish are apparently going to make an appearance in the game as well. So, there being Brute Halo Infinite action figures and stuff would make sense, if they are definitely going to be in the game. Something I forgot to mention was that there are revealed Halo Infinite Nerf guns. Here's an image of the Assault Rifle, a Rocket Launcher, I believe, and a Needler. The Assault Rifle resembles the model from Halo Reach, the Needler is probably in its smoothest form, and the Rocket Launcher just looks like a downsized, smaller scale uh, version of a Rocket Launcher and just looks like a toy really. Overall, from what elements we've seen of Halo Infinite, such as the trailers, the toys and other stuff, it gives us a lot more of an insight and context into Halo Infinite. From what we've seen so far, Halo Infinite is going to be a blast to the past, bringing back some original elements that classic Halo fans from the Bungie days loved and a new art style to complement it as well. And so yeah, anyways guys, that is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And yeah, I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye bye.